close. Good thing this is just practice. Do it. Can you do it? Let's see, right between the feet. Uh, no, you guys aren't standing there anymore. Oh no! Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't think I've introduced the vlog. Hello everyone and welcome to Tuesday. Uh, so Coliseum is, is over. Jeez, that's terrible. Squather cannons. Uh, but uh, we still have one more day together. So we decided that we would hang out. We grabbed a quick lunch. Tim fed some birds, caused maybe a, a brief bird riot at the restaurant. Now we come over to uh, play some putt-putt. We're doing Spyglass Adventure Golf. It's been a while. Th we've done this one on the vlog before. It was like 95 degrees, and as you can see, there's no shade, yeah. and it's beautiful today. It's a really, really good day for this, so uh, I'm not going to be filming like the entirety of this. I don't think I have enough space on my phone to do it, but uh, we'll be getting some shots and uh, just really relaxing. It is a beautiful day for this. It's a really, really nice day. Yay. Are you ready? Are you, are you ready to, to win? No, not, not at all. Oh, you gotta try to win. I, I, that's not, I, I didn't say I wouldn't try. I just, <laughs> I'm not ready to. Pretty good, pretty good. Could get a good bounce here. Yeah. Not too bad. Pretty straight. Stop a little, a little early, but still pretty good. Little on that side, but it's gonna do a good bounce. Good. Pretty good bounce. Tom's closest so far. A little to the side, a lot of heat. A lot of heat. Oh, yeah, we had a million. Yeah, but like what we would have done with the jump that we had already done. Good job. Wow. Steven, you're next. Man, I was the furthest. Two. Woo. Ta-da! <laughs> oh, Mallory! You stayed. Unfortunately, almost certainly, someone's gonna knock you down. Oh, missed you! Nope. All right, Tim. All right, Mr. Bishop. A lot of spice, but Mrs. Mao almost comes back up. I am the very bottle of a bottle made of general. I've been fresh animal, and vegetable, animal, and mineral. I call the kings of England, and I know the place is door. Well, from Marathon to Waterloo, in order categorical. Respectable shot, Mr. George. He's a pirate captain. Lord Gordy. Oh my god! Oh! Are you kidding me? That was fantastic. Thank that you. was a gift for you to my first mate. That was amazing. You're Can welcome. we do that again? You're welcome, Mr. George. <laughs> Watch Emil knock it away now. Yeah, Emil's gonna put mine like into another hole. And then I'll get in. <laughs> that looks pretty good. That's right. It, it was Hello. perfect. It was perfect. Oh. That was not bad. That's also real good. Wow, Dan, 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 Dan. There it is. There it is. Yes. There's the you drove the ship into the middle of a city, but you know what? You were able to drive that ball into the hole. Thank you, sir. Oh, 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 oh. oh Mr. Oh, Pitch. Oh, my God. Wow. I thought it was going to knock Emil's ball in. I was like, that's, that's fantastic. That's pretty, uh, whoa, that like, that curved real hard at the end. We are now halfway through. The first nine holes has led us to these results. Currently in sixth place with 29, Emil. And then a three-way tie for, I guess, would that be third? Third. For third, 25 to Dan, to Tom, and to Mal. I'm not flipping the camera around. 
Second place with, you, with 23 is Tim. And I'm currently leading the pack with 21. Ooh. But there are still nine more holes. How, uh, I mean, you, you how, can, we be, how can we be sure that you're reading that, that scorecard correctly? I'm good at basic math. Well, also, uh, also you no other math you, but basic well, math. Hold on, you also neglected our titles. Oh my yeah. god. Sorry, <laughs> let me let me just let me just read. read. Quartermaster Dan? No, no. I'm Quartermaster. <laughs> Quartermaster. Quartermaster Mallory has 25. Navigator Dan? Nope. Navigator Emil yep. has 29. Uh, Long John Timothy? Chef. Long John Chefothy? Yeah, you're on, you're on the right three. track. Who am I? You're the, you're the first mate. First mate George is 21. Dan. Helmsman. Helmsman Dan, 25. Helmsman and then said of greeting. Captain Tom, 25. I will never R. will never remember to do that again. Well, you're gonna have to do it at the end. Oh, oh man. Apparently I had the right idea. I thought for sure it was gonna knock Tim in. <laughs> a little short. Maybe not actually. Somebody tells me. He might get it. Yeah. He might see. get it. Well, it's okay. You can lay down those rocks now. <laughs> it's coming back. It's coming back. A little bit. That was good. Yeah. That was quite good. Yeah. Coming back a little bit, a little bit, yeah. No! <laughs> well, it's okay, you'll get a hole in one. That would be nice. Oh my god. Oh my god. You asked for it. Yeah, that was the hard part, it's clearing that dip. Oh, that's not hard enough. No! It's coming back. Oh, no! Return to sender. Yeah. Oh, thank God. <laughs> That was pretty good. That was really good. Wow. Jig. Check this out. What? I thought you were doing a jig. Yeah, it was probably a little hard. Pretty far away. They're all in the same area. Ready for this? I'm ready. I mean, if you, I assume you'll get a two. I was not ready for that. I did. Um, well, you know, three. Okay. So 
so some things did change in the second half. Uh, some people did better, some people did worse, but it did affect the standings a little bit. So, like most games. <laughs> like games! It's funny how that works. In sixth place, with a score of 56, it's a meal. One stroke behind with 55. I knew I made up some ground, but oh. Uh, was now. Ah! Then clap, damn it! Clap. <laughs> then it gets. Then it starts getting really close. Uh, in fourth place with 49, Dan. All right. In third place. In third place with 47 is Tim. In second place with 46 was Tom. I'm honestly surprised by that. I was expecting a four. And I only beat you by two strokes. I wound up with 44. I also, for some reason, I was really zoomed in on that. <laughs> Good golf. Who wants a milkshake? Me. Yeah. Yay! 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 Preferably with cake on the Bring bottom. Bring the boys to the yard. I love this view around. I never have to take pictures of my stuff. That's a pretty looking milkshake. Yeah. Jeez. It, I feel bad for eating it. It's a work of art. <laughs> I actually, I almost got this one. I ended up getting a different one. Dude, employee training at this place must be nuts. Like, they have like 50 different milkshakes and they're all like practically sculptures. Yeah. Ooh. 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 Which one did you get? Uh, it's like pecan the, pie? Yeah, it's like a pecan pie one. It's also got uh, tequila in it. What? You, you gotta just like carefully eat it off of this tiny little plate. <laughs> yes, yes, pretty much. Bubble tea straw. Time has come. The walrus said. <laughs> to talk about it. Speak things. of many things. Shoes and ships and sealing wax. Cabbages and kings. Now voted. Number three. You could point of what the rule was. Tim voted number one. Emil. Emil went for number three. Tom voted number two. That's Dan. Dan. No, that's Tom. Tom is, is five. That's a five. Oh, I'm, I'm pointing it to the person. Oh, I, I was pointing it at who the three goes to. Oh, sure, sure. Okay, sure. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> that would make sense. A ghost. What happens in a tie vote? Well, this is the answer. Whatever that flipped over is. Whoever is higher on the clairvoyant scale makes the final decision. So Which in this case would be Mal because she's got she's, Mal, she's Mal, five. Mal and Tim have the higher amount of clairvoyant points. So you collectively now decide if you're going to go with three or two. Um, because of the arrows, I thought the hunter. That was the only reasoning for me. I'm not a part of this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm going to talk about Mal. Yeah, you're let's good with go that? With three. three. The answer has been in front of you the whole game. Flip over the token and find out. Three! Woo! You did it! You did it, I'm so proud. I really didn't think you were gonna do it. He was a true clairvoyant here. He found the true murderer. And yeah. the true murderer. And you know who's most proud of you? John. John. <laughs> Who has watched the- he wasn't the he murderer all really along. He doesn't really look that super or, um, proud. <laughs> judgmental. A little judgmental, but mostly a pride. judgmental of a meal. John won't fit in the car, so... An attempt was made to cut him in half. I'll support him this side. I'll hold you're, him down. You're still gonna have to cut him in half, ain't you? Yeah. Yeah. Well, he'll be a lot smaller. 
Right. Oh, oh, John, you're gonna feel like a brand new person when we take about three feet off of you. <laughs> I bent it by mistake, but it's okay because well, it's always full. Well, it's supposed to fold there. That's, yeah. Let's try it again. Shoot! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. He's fine. Oh, this, is, this is by design. <laughs> he was always supposed to be foldable. Ah. John, you've been freed. <laughs> oh, he's so wiggly now. <laughs> he he <laughs> folds right up. <laughs> we, oh, it'll stop once we get him into a small ball. It'll also, it'll also stop once we sedate him. He's been, in, he's been through the ringer, ain't he? I really need to cut it right here, but I need the exacto knife. So this is as small as he's gonna get. You about got that empty, Tom? Yeah, um, I got quite a ways to go. It's probably gonna take me at least through the night. Checkout's gonna be awkward when they come in and they just see me standing here still spraying away trying to empty this thing. Well, you know, you're doing the best you can. I don't know of any better way of doing this. Yeah. Hold on, is today the first? Yes. Wow. I guess I should do a shout out for the Patreon, the Patreon producers. Man, the last entire week was a whirlwind. I cannot remember if I uh, explained the context behind the milkshake place, but um, after we decided we wanted milkshakes, there was a place that Mao has been uh, has seen mm -hmm. and, and was like, oh, that'd be interesting to try. And they're just, they're, they're basically crazy milkshakes. And it's, it's in a mason jar, and the outside of the mason jar is all done up with stuff, and then it's, like, super, super rich and has stuff piled on top. And it was, it was a, a nice way to celebrate the end of Coliseum. You know, the, yeah, it was. It was, it, it was a good celebratory thing to do, I, I think. The six of us were there. We got these really crazy things. When you go in, they don't even tell you what the calorie count is. And I was like, I wonder if it's online. It's not that I could find. I can only assume that it is, you know, very bad for you. But that's okay. It's okay. Just wanted to have something nice. And uh, most of us didn't finish them because it was, it was too much, man. Um, by the time I was done, I was like, I regret this. I definitely wish mm -hmm. I would have just had, like, a scoop of ice cream. And uh, I just really wanted to eat, like, broccoli. But still, as a treat... I don't think I'd ever get that ever again, oh, no. but, uh, but it was nice. You know, it was like, oh, is, look at this. We're celebrating something. And we, had all, we were all trying it for the first time. Then uh, we went back to the, the Kahlo house and just played just a few short games. And then that was it. We had to clean up the house. Um, MC and Campy left earlier. That was, that was why they weren't with our, our group. They left today. We still had uh, Tom, Tim, and Emil. And then obviously Dan lives here. Um, Yes. <laughs> Obviously. And uh, you know, it was it was good to see everyone. It was it was it was good to see everyone. It's 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 been a joy to hang out with everybody and to spend time with everybody. But I I'm I'm ready for everything to be over. Like I it, like I that there's not a good nice way of saying that, but like I'm I'm I am exhausted from several days of of doing things and um I'm ready to like slowly but surely recover. But I gotta tell you, this is definitely the way I prefer to do Coliseum where we get a day at the end. Mm -hmm. I, I really want that to become a norm. Like having a day to celebrate what you've done is important as opposed to all the other Coliseums where you just leave. I we really- get out of the house. Yeah, I don't want that. I, 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 want, I want everyone to be able to like, be like- we get a day at the beginning. And we had a day at the beginning, which was helpful for bumpers, but the day at the end is just so nice because it's like, what do you want to do? Let's go eat, let's go eat lunch. Okay, let's go do mini golf. Let's have, you know, have a bit of a party. Like that sort of thing is really nice because we are friends. Like being able to spend time with friends is nice and not make everything about work strictly. So I hope that that stays no matter what, that we always have an extra day at the end because I think that that was really nice. 
So hopefully that's in the future. That being said, now it's over. And uh, Tim, Tom, and Emil are going to be heading out tomorrow. We are going to grab uh, brunch um, real early uh, tomorrow morning because um, they got to be out of the house pretty early. We cleaned the house up tonight. Everything's basically ready. They just have to walk out. And um, we'll get some food tomorrow morning, and then we'll say goodbye. And I don't know the next time we'll see everybody, but I'm looking forward to it. I am. In the meantime, though, it is time to get back to normal life. And... Uh, I feel like we've just existed in a vacuum for a week, you know, like we have, we've barely been here at all. Kepler has been like wanting to know where on earth we've been every stinking, every stinking day. He's always so excited when we get home every night and, uh, yeah, I'm ready to just kind of fall back into the, the normal stuff. All right. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And as always... Hold on, is today the first? It is. Wow. I guess I should do a shout out for the Patreon, the Patreon producers. Man, the last entire week was a whirlwind. Yeah. Dang. Okay. I'll make sure I cut this out of the end and put it closer up towards the beginning of this so there's time for it to tick by. But a special thank you to our Patreon producers um, and a special apology for me because time has stood still for a while and I did not even realize that today was March 1st. Anyway, okay, now I'm done, I promise. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed Coliseum. And let's be back tomorrow, shall we? He lick. He lick so much. <laughs>